subscribe and download over 1 million code snippet including this tutorial from codegive.com, link in the description below. Bloom filters are probabilistic data structures used for membership queries. They efficiently determine whether an element is a member of a set or not, with a probability of false positives. They are particularly useful when dealing with large datasets and memory constraints. In this tutorial, we'll explore how to implement a basic Bloom filter in Python. A Bloom filter is essentially a bit array of m bits, initially all set to zero. Additionally, it uses k hash functions, each of which maps an element to one of the m bit positions. When adding an element to the Bloom filter, the bits corresponding to the hash values of the element are set to 1. To check for membership, we hash the query element and check if all corresponding bits are set to 1. Bloom filters have a trade-off between false positives and memory usage. As we increase the number of hash functions, k and the size of the bit array, m, the probability of false positives decreases, but memory usage increases. Let's implement a simple Bloom filter class in Python. Let's break down the implementation. Bloom filters are efficient data structures for membership queries, especially when dealing with large datasets and memory constraints. However, they come with a trade-off of false positives. By understanding their characteristics and implementing them in Python, you can effectively utilize them in your projects. Experiment with different parameters like the size of the bit array and the number of hash functions to achieve optimal performance for your specific use case. ChatGPT